All right, so it's Bruce Curley, and we're doing five laps in the Ferrari F430, right? Right. All right, my name's Garrick. I'll be your instructor. Um, all the mirrors are pointed towards me. I'll take care of everything outside of the car. You just look straight ahead. Do you want to drive an automatic paddle shift mode? Well, I don't know. Can I do both? Yeah, I mean, you can try the uh, paddle shift. If you want to switch, you can go to the automatic, or you can do it vice versa, whatever you like. I was thinking more vice versa, you know, just till like get used first, to the, you know. Get used to the track and then go to the manual? Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll do that. If we need to pass somebody or they need to pass us, I'll assist you through it. I'll put my hand on the wheel, but I won't be steering. And as soon as the pass is over, I'm right back off the wheel. Do you want to drive the car? Um, well, you said we'll, we'll go ahead and switch it there, but a few things about the track itself. You already went over in the classroom, but the orange cones are your brake cones. So you're going to brake all the way to the green turning cone, and that will also indicate what side of the track you should be on. So you're braking to that green turning cone. If it's on the left, you're on the left. If it's on the right, you're on the right. And then you're going to release the brake, balance the car into the apex, and then squeeze on the throttle out to the exit. I'll talk you through that every corner. We don't expect you to memorize it off just hearing it twice. <laughs> uh, but just to give you another quick overview, all right? Do you have any questions? Um, I don't think so. I'm uh, So I'm accelerating into the turn. Braking. And then I'm braking. Turn. Well, I'm right, accelerating, right. accelerating before that. Yeah. yeah. And But I don't release the... Uh, the throttle until well, until well at the same time right after right so your orange cones you accelerate to them when you get to the orange cones you break okay you break all the way to the green turning cone when you get to the green turning cone then you're gonna release the brake as you turn into the apex and then you're gonna squeeze on the throttle out to the exit cone okay but the the throttle yeah when do I release the throttle when you hit the brakes. Just same time. Okay, that, yeah, that yeah. was my question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It kind of sounded when he was talking like you were kind of braking and accelerating at the same time. And no, yeah. Front. You're one or the other. You either brake or Perfect. throttle. Perfect. Okay, okay. Never both. Okay, well, that clears that up. That's why I was confused. All right, foot on the brake. Yes. Now turn the wheels to the right and go straight out here and to the left. left here. Pull right up alongside those orange cones there. And brake here. Go ahead and squeeze on that throttle. You're clear. Go for it. Cross over the blue line. And now go into the left and throttle straight to that green turning cone there. Now squeeze on that throttle out to the exit cone, and now full throttle down the left side, go for it. Stay to the left, good. And now brake all the way to that green turning cone on the left side. Now release the brake, and then turn into your apex on the right. Nice and tight to the right side of the track, and now throttle here out to the exit cone. And now full throttle down the left side of the track. And brake here all the way to the green turning cone on the left side. Smoothly release that brake into the right. To the right. Now brake here and go ahead into the left. And now throttle down that hill. Go for it on the throttle. Stay to the left. And brake all the way to the green turning cone. Release the brake smoothly. Turn to the right, nice and tight to the right side here, now throttle, go for it, full throttle, stay to the right side, just a light brake, release the brake and into the left, now throttle here, and brake to the green turning cone, release that brake smoothly, look through the corner and into the right, now throttle, go for it, how you feeling? SUV 
be on the left and throttle. Go for it on the throttle. And brake all the way to that green turn and come. Smoothly release that brake and turn it to the right. Now throttle here. Go for it over to the right side. Go, go, go. Just a light brake. Off the brake and into the left. Now throttle here. Oh, that's yeah. the hardest section. Ah, I screwed up. Okay. Into the right, nice and tight to your apex on the right. And go, full throttle. You're doing great. Keep it up, full throttle. Go, go, go. Brake, all the way to the green. A little more brake. Now release the brake. Turn into the right, nice and tight to your apex on the right. Now throttle here.
turn the wheel one revolution to the left all the way around. So you did good. So you just want to make sure that you're just looking for those cones. You'll get more comfortable with the track. You have another car, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you get more comfortable with the track. It'll be easier when you kind of just take a step back, think about it, and then go back out onto the track. Um, everywhere was good. I mean, you weren't doing anything wrong. It's just getting comfortable. You were picking up speed each lap, so you're getting more comfortable each and every lap. So as you go out there in another car, it'll be similar. So just, you know, listen to your instructor and keep everything smooth. You're not getting any faster by being more aggressive or anything like that. So just keep it all smooth and the speed will come. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I just don't know the track and so the turns would sometimes come up on me. Yeah. You know, whoops. And here, what will help with one. that is like looking further down the track and you can anticipate what's coming a little yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah, I know. Rather than kind of looking right there because everything's a surprise farther down you look it's so hard because you're not used to looking that far ahead you can drive you know on the freeway right here right but you've got to look farther ahead and that'll give you that that you know anticipation more confidence and accelerating to a point breaking to a point because you know exactly where you're going to but other than that you did good you have any questions for me i don't think so no this is right. great i'll give you a usb 